First of all, we wanted to, you know, thank you for, for the opportunity that you're allowing to have brand new furniture in this particular bedroom that we're actually going to show you. I'm not showing myself yet, but um, you're going to see me in a little while. It's just that we want to go over this quick PowerPoint. So I know that we wanted to give you a little bit of background about the charity as well. I know that you know it already, but we wanted to give you some, you know, updated information before we actually unveil the actual bedroom. Sure. So first of all, I wanted for, you know, introduce the team, which I'm going to actually present them. Two of, two of them are going to join us in a little while. Um, of course, you know me, I'm the executive director. I've been here for 18 years and I'm in charge pretty much of all the fundraising and the overall operations of the charity. Um, next to me is Nicole Betancourt, who is our development coordinator. And actually she's the one putting this PowerPoint together and she's so talented in so many things, um, as well as Don Compress, who is our house manager and she's gonna join me in a little while on the call. And then we have Elizabeth Peña, who is our front desk coordinator. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So just to give you a little bit of history, because I think it's important for you know donors like you and for everybody to understand how we really did start it. So um, a group of a local McDonald's owner operator, doctors from Jackson Memorial Hospital and other volunteers helped raise the funds of this first house, the one that we're at here right now. And then on August 15, 1982, we opened our doors. So this year we're celebrating 39 years of, uh, of being able to help so many families. And, and so far we've helped around more than 29,000. So, you know, we have created such a, a great impact um, in so many people's lives and families. So these are actually photos of the rendering back then by the architect and then photos of, of kids from let's say the eighties and the nineties. So, you know, we have a, a big and long history of, of family stories and so many people that have been able to make this possible. So about the house, the current house that we're at is a three-story building with 31 bedrooms, two full kitchens, two laundry rooms, family room, and a nice patio area that actually was also adopted recently by a corporation as well. So just, to, just so you understand, you know, how the families come to us, how they stay at the Ronald McDonald House, in order for a family to say they, their child must be 21 years old or younger, receiving current medical uh, treatment at any South Florida pediatric hospital. They need to live at least 20 miles away from where we're actually located. And our uh, referral is required by uh, a social worker or case manager. That is actually, they, they send all their necessary information and, and that's pretty much the, the requirements in order for any family to stay. So it's pretty simple um, and uh, not really complicated um, just to make things easier for families as well. So jumps, it, it's important for people to know about some statistics and facts as well. Um, we actually, with the support of the community and, and restaurants and individuals and churches and corporations, uh, we're able to uh, actually provide 500 meals a year um, from, through our adopt a meal program, which is the program that anybody can sign up and be able to support. And I have to say that, you know, because of the pandemic, this has been you know, the most popular program and the one that it has been most active through our volunteer program because, because of COVID, we're not allowing volunteers inside the facility. So that's, that's what made it more difficult, but at least um, we're able to do that. In terms of hours, more than 35,430 hours were donated by volunteers. And this is more statistics of 2019, um, but it's pretty much a little bit similar to 2020. Uh, we help around 281 families uh, providing a total family nights of eight more than 8,000. Um, and these are the different states of, of where the families come from. Of course, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, Ohio, Texas, and Virginia. And then as well, we're very international. So these countries are the ones of where families are coming from. Um, Bahamas, Barbados, Bolivia, Dominican Republic. So as you can see, we're very, very international uh, because we have such an incredible hospital that we're affiliated with that provides more than 20 at least pediatric services um, and it's very well known nationwide. <clears throat> so 
so in terms of financials, you know, we have to say that we're very fortunate um, that we're able to actually, uh, we were able to meet our goals actually in 2020, even though through the pandemic, it was, it was a difficult time. We were able to do that, but 2019 financial information, we were able to raise $2 million and 1.6 is actually expenses. And uh, very proud to say that from every dollar we raise 80 cents go directly to our program, which is of course the house. Um, and again, again, these are numbers of 2019, but 2020, we have not been audited yet, but uh, 2020 we raised um, pretty much a little bit more than $2 million. And it was incredible support that we received. So thanks to the community and thanks to people like you as well. Awesome. So this is um, the, the room, kind of like the room before. And we used to have, you know how it is, the trend of furniture colors is a little bit different. Um, so the last, um, I would say two years, we decided to, of course, change them. It's, it was time. And uh, with the support of so many people, uh, we have been able to change the furniture little by little. And it's, it has a completely different look what you're gonna see now. So I'm happy to be able to show you um, the unveiling of the room in just a second. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. This is Donna, house manager. Hello. Hello. So your room is actually number 311. So we're actually located on the third floor. And uh, hold on, let me close the door. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the plaque that actually we, we, you know, we have your name on it. And it's actually right here. And then I'm going to allow Don to show you a little bit of the amenities that we have in the room. So as you can see, this is the plaque. A doctor room generously donated by the Murphy family. Awesome. So when a family comes in, they're able to see this nice, you know, welcome sign that actually was donated by volunteers with their room number. So Dawn, here, here we, go. we go. Let's go inside. Welcome to room 311. <laughs> so as you enter into the room, um, the first thing you'll see here is a welcome bag that we give to the families here that has everything that a family would need um, from toiletries to a blanket, shampoo, conditioner, books that we get generously donated from different vendors and um, people in the community. Um, right around, if we swing around over here, we have what we call um, also um, Cheer Articles um, was um, an organization that worked with corporations that did team building um, activities. And in here is um, lots of treats and, and more toiletries um, for the families to use while they stay here. We also get um, from different organizations, um, different boxes with um, like arts and crafts items for the, to help out our families while they're staying here as well. Um, right here is our guest um, information uh, manual. So this pretty much lets the families know everything in the area, what's nearby, what stores are nearby, um, just little, little things that are gonna help their stay here easier um, to help navigate around in the area here. Um, so as you can see, we have a desk and a chair here um, for our families, um, which is coming in really handy right now because some families are working remotely, um, even from here at the Ronald McDonald House. So this is really um, coming in handy right now for our families. Um, if you swing around over here, um, we have one full size bed here um, for our families. And again, um, everything with a comforter, um, pillows, pillowcases, a blanket here um, to make sure that our families have a comfortable stay here along with their nightstand, a lamp, an alarm clock. Um, also, they have a phone here, so if they need to reach out um, to you know, doctor's offices and need to give a, a direct number here, um, they have the phone here to assist them. If you swing around over here, um, you have the TV here, along with a DVD um, system as well. Um, the families do have cable TV here, um, again, so that they can um, watch you know, the programs to their liking when they they stay here in the room after a long day um, at the hospital or doctor's appointments. So as you can see, it has a different vibe, different color. Um, we decided to give it a more light color. You know, the colors are, you know, the gray tones, which are more modern. Um, so, you know, we're very fortunate again, and we wanna thank you for, for be allowing us to have this room available for the next family to come in and check in. 
and be able to be with our child. Um, they, they're just walking distance to the hospital. And uh, let me tell you, this makes a big difference because when a family comes in here, they see this room that is so modern, so comfortable. And, you know, it, it, we want them to feel like this is their home in the time being. And, and it's made possible thanks to you. So we hope you enjoy it, you know, from a little far away. Um, but we're going to send you a complete video of all this so you can actually share with your friends or coworkers of the amazing um, thing you guys did today. So Great. Thank you. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank my, you. My wife has got stuck in traffic, so it's uh, be good to have a video. Oh. I definitely appreciate the, uh, the work that went into the room. I completely agree makes a big difference the environment that you're around and feeling like you're uh, you're somewhere where you're comfortable and somewhere you're, you're happy to be so I'm glad it to be really part. is it really is yeah right now um our house is at 50 percent capacity um you know hopefully within the next couple of weeks or months you know we'll get a little bit fuller um but you know we're doing the best that we can you know during these times but um you know again this room it, it you know it, it this is what the house is all about you know this is the the time that they're in this room you know it's it's so important so we want to have everything that they really need so but we're going to be sharing that video with you i'll be sharing with you soon and then you can share it with naomi <laughs> thank you thank you very much Okay, do you have any questions? I know that, you know, hopefully you'll come soon and see it in person, the room and, you know, being able to tour in person the house, but um, I'm glad that, you know, the technology is there, so at least we can see it from far away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, no, thank you for sharing it. Absolutely be happy to come see the house once things are more back to normal sure. stuff. Volunteer some too, and that'd be great. Thank you. Exactly. I know that we added you to our newsletter, so you're going to continue receiving information from us. You know, try to stay connected, follow us on social media as well, um, so you can see what's going on inside the doors of the Ronald McDonald's. Absolutely. All right. All right. We appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much for everything. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye.